Hi guys, what's going on and welcome back to an episode of Conqueror's Blade. And we are loading in with the Musketeer class this time. Um, I've had a couple of battles with this guy now. I must say I am pretty disappointed really. I've, I would say so far in my opinion this is probably the worst class in the game. Um, maybe I'm just using it wrong but I find it really hard to apply much damage. I think the archer seems to be far superior. This guy has pretty limited range. I don't know, just seems pretty inferior. Uh, not really a lot else I can say. <laughs> and that's kind of just been my finding so far. Um, I'm trying to get these archers deployed in a vaguely logical place. Uh, before we all get stormed off the ladder. Oh, 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 not so good. Run away. Archers protect me. This is not going to be particularly, uh, particularly preferable, is it? I think we might have to retreat a bit here. <laughs> Pull back! Cross the bridge! Yeah, no, like, like, really. An enemy! No, it's friendly. Come, archers! Yes, sir! Yes, my lord! Come on, do as you're told. Fall back, because you're gonna get caught by all those enemy troops now. Um, we'll, we'll play on the other side. But yeah, I mean, as you even see then, it's just really hard to get much damage in, I find. Um, you know, you can do bits, don't get me wrong, but like that, I'm out of range. An archer class would easily be able to get shots on here, yet I can't, I've got to get closer. It's just kind of this continuous uh, thing I find to be most annoying. And even then, it's quite hard to get hits. You can do a bit of melee, but not really very effective. Okay, then retreated anyway. You do. It is fun, I mean, don't get me wrong. There's something quite satisfying about blasting people with. Sure. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Not so good. Ah. <laughs> okay. We're leaving our archers on that side of the bridge, I think, is definitely the right thing to be doing. It looks like we've got a, uh, some sort of grape shot cannon here. No, it won't let me on it. Too close. What about enemies out in the open? Is there anyone down here we can hit? Some barricades, um, some of the enemy siege tower stuff. A bit short on the range. Oh, it's not, not such a bad shot, even if I do say so myself. I'm sure I'm not going to be attacked by any of the heroes. Okay, I'm really getting quite good on these cannons now. I'm just watching that enemy hero on the minimap. Pull back slightly. Oh, he's actually down below. Okay, cool. Well, getting some hits on these enemy archers at least. A bit short. Ah. Um, so yeah, so that's what I'm finding so far. It's pretty hard to apply damage. You know, when we had those enemy spearmen there, I think it would have been a lot easier for us to apply damage um, if I'd had just a melee, you know, uh, unit. It has its moments. You know, the shotgun's not so bad, but I mean, I just don't find it to be particularly effective at applying damage. I like the grenade. <laughs> That's the one fun thing about it. I do like the grenade. Uh, but other than that, I find it to be a pretty mediocre weapon. Are we being attacked from above? No? No? Okay, you're going to be a problem, aren't you? Going to get down to the ground below. It's not quite so bad. Missed. Okay, there's quite a few enemies coming now. They're getting this reloaded. Then maybe we're going to have to pull back again. Some friendly spearmen there, at least. Oh, we've still got a 20 second cooldown on our. I can actually lock onto the quarterback. Oh, no, it's an enemy. Take that. Um, is that another enemy swordsman coming around? It is, isn't it? Oops. Nope. I did a little bit. Watch out for that guy around there. Oh, I missed my shot as well. My archers are getting quite a good few shots in there. We're not doing too badly. This is perhaps, maybe that's one of the benefits to consider. Oh, please, 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 please. <laughs> okay, that that's fun. That 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 was enjoyable. <laughs> I think we can now shotgun a big bunch of them as well. Oh, enemy infantry. Run away, run away, run away. That's what you've got to be careful of. But you are quite fast though, as a character because you've not got super heavy armor anymore. Um, but still, I feel just like, you know, what, why am I just take so long or so much waiting around reloading? I just not really for me, I don't think. Reloading. 
the upgraded damage. I do. Even in this, I think I prefer a hand to hand. <laughs> Can at least you get a hand to hand defensive in the way that the archers don't. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of my initial impressions. But I mean, you do get to control your units better. That is one definitive advantage which um, other classes don't have. In this, it's very easy to control, um, you know, keep an eye on my archers that I don't get when I'm playing a lot of the melee classes. Because I just tend to get sidetracked, you know, I get involved in combat and it's so all consuming that I can't really see what else is going on. This does give you a lot more control and that is nice. Oh, a little bit short. <laughs> Nearly. Uh, do, 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 do. Waiting to get a little closer. Look at that. Ah, got a few. And a few people retreating. Ooh, we're a bit, a bit dropped a bit low there, didn't we? Let's edge up slightly. I think there's always just seems to be a few people stood at the bottom of this siege ladder. Ah, that's good. Give them a steady bombardment on here for a second. Actually, it looks like there's quite a few getting up onto the tower, maybe. Oops. A bit long there, I hit my own cannon. <laughs> Got range. Oh, we're damaging enemy hero. There are enemies there, then, we can see. Which is good. Ah, too short. Damn. Okay, let's increase range slightly. See if we can get a shot in. Okay, but they're starting to get pressure now on point A. Which is obviously not what we want to happen. Ho <laughs> ho! Kill! Nice. Okay, we won't sit on there all day. Right, let's push on them. Uh, has this bridge since collapsed? That's my next question. No, bridge is still intact. It's a good sign. Horse, come hither. Onwards. Uh, let's just go around. Yes, sir. Uh, this is only an outpost here. It doesn't actually a capture point. It's really not all that useful to control. Plus, my archers are actually starting to run out of ammunition as well. Lost a few of them, but so far we're not doing too badly for for uh, kills. Point B. How many people have been killed? Oh. Nearly 50 people, one hero. Combination of cannons, archers, and a little bit of musketry along the way. All sort of contributed to that. Okay, now we've got an enemy hero coming. Not so good. Yes, sir. You set up at the back, and then at least they've got something to fall back towards. I hope they're running for it. See, I like that you're out of range. You would not be out of range then as an archer. See, and that's one of the big differences. It shall be done. I find I'm moving this section of wall still up. Have we got a friendly cannon here? Blimey. me. Wow, there's a big fight going on over here at point A. I think this this smells of a good grenading opportunity. Grenade. Oh, well, that wasn't so effective, was it? I think I missed largely. Ow. And if you get hit on the reload, ow! Can't move. I'm stuck. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Well, I feel somewhat lucky to be alive now. Oh, go away! Don't throw javelins at me. I'm trying to heal. Damn people. Probably hit the. Uh... We're pretty low in health now. <laughs> doing a reasonable job. Oh, we've actually lost point A. I was going to say we've done a reasonable job of holding it. We actually haven't. Because <laughs> otherwise we would still hold it. I blocked up a shield. Find somewhere to hide. Oh no. Okay, just time to run away, I think. Uh, where are my archers? They're still up there. Maybe they're providing some shots down at it. Oh. I hadn't kind of banked on there doing that. Oh, oh well. Um, well, that wasn't the first, too bad for the first two life. The grenade is fun. A musket, pretty ineffective in my opinion. Too slow, really low sort of damage per second output compared to the archers, compared to melee units, and I think that's a problem. I mean, I just don't see the benefit of it over the archers. You've got shorter range. Yes, you have a higher damage per hit to have a higher alpha damage, but your rate of fire is so much slower, and the lack of range makes it so unversatile that I don't think it makes up for that, in my opinion, at least. And that's kind of, yeah, I think, the biggest problem with it. You can shoot it on horseback. Uh, obviously, you get none of your abilities, though. So, is it that useful? Uh, let's get all these guys to form up in 
here as a defensive point. It shall be done. So we can sally forth to defend point C if we need to. Actually, maybe we should put them yes, in sir. point C. Uh, start shooting some horses. They're going to go down pretty quickly. You obviously need to have friendly troops around you to defend yourself, otherwise you do just go down super quick. And like that, and it's a short range yet. Yeah, yeah, still can't get any hits. Oh, grenading, 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 grenading. Huh. Nice. That's nice. I do love that grenade. That is really quite quite unbelievably satisfying. Oh god, they're running at me. Ah. You do have a melee ability as well to try and get yourself out of trouble if you need to. Gonna shoot blindly. And obviously, of course, you can shoot through allies, which is obviously important as well. Try and get some damage up. Keep my shots in most of the enemies dying, to be honest. I think we'd largely down to the hill. What's going on here? Ooh, enemy. Enemy horse! Shot a gun. Oh, nearly got it. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah! So you can pick off individual enemies, which is nice. Seems to be quite, uh, horses are a lot easier to kill than anything else because they've got such a large target. But most of our enemies, are, most of my allies are now dead, aren't they? Including most of my men. Let's pull back a little bit. How are we doing on kills like 77? Not doing too badly. We're not being completely useless like I normally am. I'm going to get reloaded. You can't run and reload is another thing I've noticed recently. Um, we are in grenading range of the centre here, aren't we? Which is always a good sign. Managed to get hit there, just about. I think if you get the recognition circle, you're in range. Like, for example, they are out of range and there's no little circle, even when it says circle but out of range. See, so if I try to shoot at them, just, just too far. But I would be able to shoot at them with um, uh, an archer unit, so... Mm, Yeah, we can hit them there, look. Dashed. They full lost my ability. But you know, you're not really... Oh, wow. And I've got uh, trebuchets. I can get away from that. If we heal, if we can. <coughs> but you know, you're not doing that much damage. You're getting what a hit is against an enemy hero, maybe 100, 120 points on a standard hit. Yet, you know, an enemy hero, a melee hero, can slash for more than that in, in a split second. And you've got to do that once every couple of minutes if you hit. Which isn't always that easy. Get some hits on now from this sort of wall, which is a benefit, but still, I just feel like, oh, we've got a headshot there. Obviously, we're losing point B, but that's kind of to be expected. Got a bit of a hit on there, yeah. And there we go, we've done enough to defend long enough. So. Is it a good class? In my opinion, it's not a particularly good class. From having played now both the Archer and the Musketeer, I think the Archer is significantly more versatile. Yes, you lose a little bit of alpha damage on your bow, but don't lose that much. Um, the reload time's better. The range is so much better. The flexibility and versatility is better. For me, if you want a ranged class, I'd pick the Archers, not the Musketeer. Uh, but that's just kind of my experience. But we'll be having a video on the Archer at some point as well, so then we can sort of see how we get on with that as well. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Subscribe to the channel for lots more Conqueror's Blade content, and I shall see you all on the next video.